One of my most popular videos is on TTS and how to set it up on your Twitch stream. Well, today we have an update on the same website and I'm going to show you how to add AI voices to the same TTS. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Like I said, now you can add AI voices to your TTS. So let me show you how to set it up. First, you'll have to go to this website that will be linked down in the description below. It's Isaiah's Creatives Bot. So I've already made a video about this and how you can set it up, but we'll go over it again. So first, what you need to do is log in with Twitch. Obviously, you click on login with Twitch. It's going to ask you for your permissions. Just approve them. I've already done that, so I don't have to do that. And then once you've done that, you go into your dashboard right here, and then you will see your home. It's going to say, hey, and then your username and a bunch of different things. Here, you can see your TTS limits. You can do 55,000 TTS messages. There's the alert URL and the video and sound limit, which we're not going to touch at all. We don't need to do any of this stuff. What we want to do is go to extension over here. So for us to use the AI voices, it's a bit different than my last video. In my last video, all you have to do is just add the bot and then people could use the channel point reward for TTS. Now you'll have to use the extension in order for you to use AI voices. So go to extension on the left. Click that right here. It's going to say, welcome to the extension. Want more than channel point rewards. The extension uses bits. Let's viewers play TTS messages and then, you know, punish chatters, whatever else you want. So you will have to use the extension in order for you to do that. Click on install on Twitch. It's going to uh, redirect you to the Twitch page. You just need to install it. Since I've done that, I have the uninstall button, but click install. And once you've done that, you don't need to do anything else. What you need to do is go to my extensions. And then over here, you will see all of your extensions that are on your channel. And then on the left side, you will find the creators extension. You click on it, activate, and then you just set it up as the panel. Because I've already done that. I don't have to do that. But just click activate and then set as panel one, two, or three, whichever one you want. I have it set to panel three because I have the other one set to the other panels. So just set it up as the panel. It will be on the right side. And that's it. Now we go back to the website and we set up the other things. So you'll have to go to next on this extension. It's going to say get alerted via overlay and chat alerts. By default, a chat alert will be sent when any feature like sounds, videos, punishments, or TTS is used. That's fine. We click next. Customize your features. Next. Theme your way. Next. That's fine. If you want to join their Discord, if you have any support inquiries, you can do that. But that's it. We finish the intro. And now over here, you will see the uh, AI voices. So it's going to say new AI voices. You want to add the AI TTS. So you click on that and then it's going to ask you which voice do you want to add? There's a bunch of voices. You can use TikTok voice. You can use three head like the British one, uh, SpongeBob, whichever one you want. Let's do SpongeBob uh, volume. We can do whatever we want. I think 50 is going to be just fine. Read username. We don't want that. If you do want it to read the username before the TTS, you can enable that. And then you can set up the character limit for how long do you want the message to be for it to read the TTS. If it's longer than, let's say, 200 characters, it will not read it. If it's uh, below that, it will read it. I'm going to put it on max 500. That's totally fine. Click on add feature. And then you can put the bit amount. If you want the AI TTS only for bits, then you can en enable the bit amount so people that cheer 100 bits through the extension will be able to play the AI voice. If you don't want that, you just put it to five and that's the lowest you can make it right now for them to play it right there. So put it on five bits and then cool down. You can do either one minute, five minutes or none and then enable disable. Obviously, you want to enable it, create item and you are set. That's how you set up the AI TTS. Now we can add more voices. We go over the same thing. 500 add feature, none. Let's put five bits, create item. Let's say we have two TTSs. We have Michael Scott and we have SpongeBob. If you want to add other items, like I said, you can do like punishment for the viewers, like timeout, ban, unban, whatever else. You can do that by clicking on create new item on the top right. And then you just add these to your uh extension so people can use them if they want. I will not really go over this as the video is more about AI TTS, but just know that you can go over and add video alerts, sound alerts, punishment, whatever else you want. So once you've done that, we can test it out to see if it actually works. So in order for us to test it out and to make sure that it works, we need to add this as a browser source to our OBS. So what you need to do is go back to home on the top left, and then you will see this alert URL. So you will need to have this alert URL on your OBS, that way, whenever somebody actually activates a TTS, it does 
play it. So over here, you click on copy URL, you click that, then you go to your OBS, and then you just add a browser source. So you go to add a browser source right here. You can name it uh, AI TTS. And then over here, you'll just have to paste the URL that you copied and then put the width and the height of your canvas right there. So mine is four, mine is 2K. So I put 2560 by 1440. If you have a 1080p canvas or resolution, you set up 1920 by 1080. That way, everything's set up. Click on OK and you are fine. Nothing will happen on the screen. Nothing will be on the screen, but it will play the voice itself. So now if you want to test it out, we go back to the website. We go back to extension and we click on demo. Keep in mind that the voice will be the default voice. But when somebody actually uses the extension to play the sound, it will play the AI TTS. So let's play it out. This is a test message. The voice is probably not the same, but that's because this is just a demo. So as you can hear, it does say the voice might be different, but this is just because it's a demo. So you can test it out to see if it works and how loud it is. If you want to make it louder, you go to edit and then you just adjust the volume up or down, depending or you know, if it's too loud or too quiet. That way, once everything is set up, once you go back to your Twitch and you enable the feature, everything should be fine. People can use their bits to enable AI TTS and play some cool voices. Hey guys, Future Agent here. If you do want to hide the alert that shows up when you play the TTS, you can actually go to preferences and then click on hide notifications button. That way it will disable the notification and it will not show anything when playing the TTS. If you want to see that it actually is activated in your profile, you will need to go to your Twitch channel right there. You open it up and you scroll down to your panels and over here on the panels, you will see the TTS panel. So you'll see the SpongeBob TTS, you'll see the Michael Scott TTS and then whatever else you added. Now, if somebody wants to use it, they click on it, they put the TTS message, they click send, they will send five bits and the SpongeBob, for example, TTS will play it out loud. So that's how it works. That's how you know it's set up. If you do want to add some words as like a filter so you can, you know, block N words or certain slurs, you just go to the settings on the left and you can add a word filter. So you put on these slurs or whatever else that that way, if somebody says them, they will not play it out loud on a TTS. That way you can at least a little bit moderate the TTS and the voices themselves. That's basically it. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world to me. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you have any more questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And if you want to see more of my OBS guides or Twitch guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.